Well, you have racked and stacked your Cisco C-Series Unified Computing Server and you are raring and ready to go to install an operating system. Whether it's VMware, whether it's Windows, you want guidance, you want step-by-step -step to ensure this installation is going to go smooth. Well, I'm here to provide it for you in this micro nugget. The first thing I want you to have when you're installing the OS on the C-Series is I want you to have a step-by-step -step checklist to avoid trouble for your specific operating system. So to find this checklist, let me walk you through it. We're here at Cisco.com. I'll go to Support and I'll just choose the All Products. In fact, this brings us to the product support where I'm going to choose all products again using this particular navigation interface. And here we are at that wonderful select your product or technology screen, that starting screen that I've gotten so used to that I love so much. In the middle column, we're going to choose servers unified computing. And then on the right, we're going to choose our C-series rack servers. Notice there are install and upgrade guides. Awesome. Now, when you think about these install and service guides, you think about installing the C-Series device itself, right? It's memory, it's CPU, all those wonderful ingredients inside, a mezzanine, network card, all that great stuff. But, but no, we're not interested in that. In this particular video, we're interested in a step-by-step -step checklist for the operating system install. So you're going to scroll down here the list of servers and under related documentation, here is our operating system installation guides. Awesome. So we're going to do a C-Series server VMware install. We're going to pull up the guide for that installation. This is probably something you're going to want to print out, by the way, because this is going to be filled with great stuff. First, that checklist I promised you. So here is an installation checklist, okay, our prerequisites. One of those prerequisites, by the way, is to make sure you have the very latest C-Series drivers DVD. Okay, that's a huge ingredient here. Obviously, they're going to remind you that you need to get together your VMware software, your license key, all that stuff. But you also want to be equipped with the C-Series drivers DVD. So let's just jump out of here for a moment and let's find that. So we're going to go to support and this time we're going to go to all downloads. Yep, because we are looking for software at this point. So we're going to go once again in the middle column to servers, unified computing. We're going to go to our C series rack mount standalone software in this case. And then we're going to find our particular blade server. Maybe I'm lucky enough to have a C220 M3 rack server. Awesome. There it is, our unified computing system drivers. So here is the ISO image of all the UCS related drivers that you would want to make sure you're updated and ready to go for your VMware installation. By the way, maybe we've gotten a little ahead of ourselves, right? You want to check the compatibility matrix over at VMware and make sure that the C-Series rack server that you're installing on is indeed on that compatibility matrix for the particular version of VMware you want to implement. Now, obviously, Cisco and VMware have a very tight relationship, so you will typically find that your C-Series is smack dab in the middle of that compatibility matrix. All right, so let me just point you out a couple of things more about this great documentation, and then we will wrap up this micro nugget. So come on, Cisco, bring me back to the support area. There we go, all products and servers, unified computing, C-series rack servers. We're gonna go into the install and upgrade guides. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna choose the operating system installation guides. We're gonna go to that VMware installation guide and notice, after our installation checklist and prerequisites, we will get specifics on what you want to install and how to do it. And I'm sure that's ESXi, right? Notice installation specific to an internal drive, installation specifics to a bootable SAN logical unit number. So that's great. So 
whether we're installing locally or off a of SAN, we're going to get specific instructions to do that. Also, it's very important if you're installing locally and you have RAID set up, you'll want to review the RAID controller considerations for this particular install. So there we go, step-by-step -step guidance on operating system installs in the UCS C-Series standalone environment. I hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.